Hey guys, today I'm here to tell you why circumstances don't matter. Mm. Briefly, so um, the circumstances don't matter because um, you are changing the realities. You're jumping through realities. And I have to tell you that I had circumstances <laughs> many times, not once, not twice, many times. I had circumstances with my specific person that seemed just, you know, like, it, this is when you like, when you're asking yourself, like, if you fucked up and like, I don't know, like, if someone can forgive you, or like, um, <clears throat> I don't know, if, if someone left you for someone else, or if just, I don't know, anyway, anything, really. And you're like, y you, you feel like, oh my god, like, is it possible? Yes, it is possible, because it's not possible in the reality number one, but it is possible in reality number two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are just different versions. And so, um, the moment you jump, this is what I feel every time. The moment you finally land, finally, um, you can quantum jump just like that. But sometimes it takes time. But the moment you know, you landed in the reality. That's good. That's the one you wanted. Mm. In my experience, when I land in the reality that I was working towards to get, which just happened two days ago, or three days ago, basically the you you are already there, and basically it feels like all this time that you had circumstances is actually gone and never existed because it listen it all really just depends because the more you put your awareness on the things you want the more you forget about the reality you don't want because you're trying to ignore the reality or you're just uh, i don't know not putting focus on it or trying to think about positive reality for you and <clears throat> and so basically when you land there you're you're suddenly like this is what happened to me th three days ago or two days ago. After two fucking months being in a rut. Mind you though, I got my specific person back in the beginning of July. And after just one month <laughs> of persisting. And then I got so scared. Because we actually... Well, felt much more, not only him, because I was manifesting him to feel much more. The thing is, I also felt much more love for him, and it was much deeper for me also, which I, I was not really ready for. Everyone is pushed out, so you know. So eight weeks, I didn't meet up with my specific person, and my specific person was literally hot and cold in a way that he was hot he was as kind as nice doing things he has never done before and he was an asshole okay so on one hand he was like this on the other hand he was uh, avoiding the meeting and it was basically I was creating it every day every week and then at some point I was like girl you gotta stop with this and I knew I knew that I had to stop it but the fear was like huge then it was small small, small, small little, 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 little. then some other things started happening very good because of course I was also manifesting my favorite affirmation which should be yours too which is everyone is obsessed with me and uh, then everyone loves me and then basically I went okay I went to my 
hometown for my uh, birthday uh, and actually whole family my my mom who is from Pol Polish my father Slovak they are divorced from the beginning when I was born uh, but she actually organized a birthday trip for me whole family met this has never happened before I literally was last six years old when this happened and I'm not six years old anymore so it was so kind so nice like I had a few talks there with my mom because you know this journey is changing me too and basically I was thinking all these years that my family doesn't care about me like each of them I had the stories the limiting beliefs about them and it turned out that they all love me <laughs> surprisingly <laughs> um, love me and care about me but I just because of my my own issues my my something that I have I'm not sure if it's autism or what it is but like I had this story in my mind that like they don't but they do they just are not my generation they have their own traumas it, they just respond to things differently they don't know how to communicate properly they have flaws just like everyone so this kind of like made me feel like so loved so loved man like even though the situation with my SP was shitty not shitty but it was not what I wanted this like family love like it was just one of the most beautiful things that happened in my life really and I was so grateful and that was the moment I had the capacity to start changing the story to chill out a little bit I didn't chill out much but chill out a little bit and of course I was like affirming or whatever I was not visualizing not visualizing much but affirming writing some affirmations down and just listening to music I like to my favorite method is to listen to music and just feel the love for him and just imagine I'm staring into his eyes and that actually works the best usually usually I have movements after these sessions it's just so natural um, so I was like I I'm ready to go to get out of the rut so then, after I came home, I saw that he didn't message me because I, I didn't have anything. And I was like, you know... <laughs> mm, and then, and then I was ready. This is also so important. Like, you have to be ready to... Not to let go of that person, like... I don't think you have to be ready to let go of the person, like... For good and like be like okay but on the other hand this was something I was afraid of all this time to let go of him and basically this situation made me ready to let go of him which turned out to be actually a good thing um, so basically I messaged him that um, th this was like I was ready I was like I don't care I'm the most important person I'm not gonna be treated this way I'm not gonna be like seven weeks on hold and I messaged him to like I'm sorry I can't do this anymore blah 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 I told him a few things and I was ready for him to to respond to me like okay because that happened two times before in the old realities that like he was like he whatever fuck you <laughs> and I was ready because I was like I am the best self-concept I'm the best I don't care anymore like I am so loved my friends love me I have amazing like the most amazing friends in the world and I love me I have so many things to do literally that's why I'm here recording because I'm avoiding it um yeah so I was like and surprisingly he this was this is the first time when he showed me like no he showed me that he doesn't wanna let me go and there was a big one because that never happened before um so I, I got calmed a little bit 
and then I came back to Orso, to my to city where I live in, and basically again this like the circumstances were still not. We still haven't met, and like it was still a little like he wasn't because it wasn't only about meetings. It was about we didn't talk. So he kind of was picking up the phone, kind of wasn't, kind of was like he was always responding to me, um, but he wasn't before. So like all these you know old stories. And I decided I had a few like epiphanies on how I, I actually realized this is also like all these things are inside of you and you didn't even know. So I basically realized that up until last uh, up until Friday, one week ago, <clears throat> I really was still in my mind like I was not sure I wanted him really like for real like for like that's my person. And when I went to the party last. Friday, I was angry at him because he sent me some nasty message and it made me sad. I was really like, oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find someone else. And, and then I was in the party and I realized that I really don't want anyone else and I don't care. And I, if it's not him, I'm just gonna be alone um, for however long it has to be. I, I don't need a man, I don't need a partner, I don't need anyone. I am me. With myself I have a life that's just so full of everything so like I really don't need it and I don't even want it I realized I really don't want anyone else because I don't want a boyfriend I only want this one person because I like this person so much because I enjoy their personality so much it's just, it's just I don't even want a boyfriend <laughs> um, <clears throat> so basically and it all started just like a uh, unfolding in me like I was like oh my god I really want this man like it's true like I was that was the first time in my life I was 100% sure I was like yes you know what yes you know what I don't care about any pretty nice amazing guys better guys out there I don't give a shit and so basically then I had like two days I was feeling better then I had a day where I my pain I had a pain in my back and when I'm in a huge pain I do stupid shit because I'm in pain um, and basically two days ago uh, or three days ago I messaged him I was pissed I was like we either meet and we talk and blah 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 all these things that I was for for all these months I was not ready to tell him because I was scared he was leave this time I was like I don't give a shit man um, like I respect myself this is my boundary I'm, I'm ready and guess what my new reality is here my new new SP, my SP is here this version of SP where he's talking to me or talking constantly he's trying you know he's he's talking to me now like messaging me like trying he's nice he's just um, yeah and he fought for me finally yeah, I know it was the second time, but this time I was very clear about that I'm gonna go. I told him, you're gonna lose me if you keep behaving like this. Um, and I'm not the one to, you know, be like, oh, if you don't do this, then I'm gonna leave. I'm not the one. So basically, this is why circumstances don't matter. Because the moment it happened and he showed up, and we talked and then it suddenly was all okay and then it suddenly is like this it just is here and this is not the first time I had it with him or with basically anything else but especially with him and when you jump it you just it's like this person it's really not the same because it's not it's not the same person as all the other people you have experienced I have experienced right so that is why circumstances don't matter and i hope that this video gave you some hope bless you have a good day and see you in my channel sorry for the quality though because i'm recording with the old phone bye